Now, you see we got a problem, right? What color is Jesus? Jesus is black, right? Why are they pointing at that image? That's a problem. So, show me. If this is Jesus, who is this? Dang. So we look like the devil? Are we the devil? Nah, black men aren't the devil. Let me get that for me. Give me Revelation chapter 1, verse 1 real quick. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants, things which must shortly come to pass. So, Christ was... Jesus, God gave this, well, Jesus gave this to, to John on the island of Patmos. He said, look, write this down. Hold on, read it. We're going to read it for you. Read it. He said, write it down. Verse 11, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. So Jesus said, hey, John, whatever you see right now, write it down. That's how important my image is. I need you to write this down, right? Jump to verse 14. Verse 14. His hair and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So Jesus Christ had white, woolly textured hair, right? Boss man, right there with the hat on. You got white, woolly textured hair. Let me see your hair. Let me see your hair. You got the same type of hair Christ got. You got the exact same type of hair Christ got. But listen, let's, let's get his description even further. Keep reading. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So check this out, sis. So, you said this Jesus, right? Do he got white woolly hair anywhere? Do you see white woolly hair? Do you see like a white afro anywhere? Nah, you don't, right? And what color eyes he got? He got blue eyes, don't he? The Bible said he gonna have red eyes, right? So this image right here lying to us, right? Keep reading. And his feet like unto fine brass. So if you take off your shoes, sis, boss man, if you take off your shoes, you take off your shoes, you take off your shoes, ain't your feet gonna be particularly the same color as your body, right? So Christ said his his feet was what? And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, anybody? What color is brass? Dark. Did you get a black? What color? Dark. It's dark what? Like a dark black almost. Like, it, well, it's brown, right? It's brown, you're absolutely right. So Christ said, my feet are brown, right? Let's see how brown. Keep reading. As if they burn in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color is it going to turn? Anybody? It's going to turn what? So what color is Christ according to the Bible? According to the Bible, Christ would be a black man. That's, and that's what, that's what our society hasn't been taught. We've been given this image. So if they gave us this image right here, do you think the doctrine that they gave us is correct? Do you think the words that they taught us out of this Bible, that they give us the real context of it? Read that, read that for me. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ came from the tribe of Judah. We just read that he's a black man, right? So if Christ is a black man, he came from the tribe of Judah, what would be his, the color of his people? Same as him. Same as him. So his people would be black, right? Right. Yes, right. So we reading today, right? We looking at this sign. We see that. Judah is what we used to be called according to God. And we read now that they call us American blacks or African Americans, right? So today Christ would be considered an African American man. The average person on the street would call him a Negro or a nigga, right? But that's our Lord and Savior. That should show you right there that we are way more special than we think. We ain't the bottom of the barrel, we actually the cream of the crop. But we just been conditioned to think that. And what we do as we try to include everybody else in our salvation. But Christ only came for one group of people. And it's evident, we can read it over and over and over in the Bible that he only came for one group of people. His people, right? Why does he say his people all the time and not all people, they say his people, right? Read that for me. Give me that in uh, Matthew chapter two, verse 15. Let's see who his people is. Matthew chapter two, verse, verse six. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, uh -huh. art not the least among the princes of Judah? Uh -huh. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. So his people is Israel, is not everybody in the world. We would like to think that, right? Because we might have co-workers and friends that we like that's from another race, right? Right? And we want them to be saved just like us. But we can't give up our salvation because they can't be saved. That ain't meaning that they ain't going to be in the kingdom with us. It's just they ain't going to be on the same level as us. That's all that mean. That's all that mean. That, so when we hear Christ only came to save one group of people, we kind of like turn, we turn that off because we like, no, that can't be real. 
No, Christ ain't going to do away with all these other nations. No, they're going to be there to serve us. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 14. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 14. Yes, sir. Let me show you what the kingdom of heaven is going to look like. Keep Matter of fact, boss man, like I asked you a question, right? John 3 and 16. In 16, what is that? In the 1700s, where was John chapter 3 verse 16? Right. Yeah, it wasn't here. It sure wasn't here in, in Mississippi because we was being hung. We was picking cotton. We was being whipped. They saying John 3 and 16 and putting the whip right on your back. They showing you right now that they don't care about you like we care about them. We try to save them. They don't care nothing about us. Because if John 3 and 16 applied like it applied today, we would have never been in that situation. That's right. Right? And if Christ is a black man, why did God allow black people to go into slavery? Disobedience to what? His word. Because who was his word given to? His people. Right? Right? And that's the conditions. Give me that. My bad. Give me that Amos chapter 3 first. Give me that Amos chapter 3 verse 1. So God gave his people commandments, right? And because we broke them, this is what happened to us. Read that. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. You see how God only dealing with one group of people? He only dealing with the Israelites. Keep reading. Against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. He said he calls us a family, right? That's so the Israelites are family, the Chinese are family, the white people are family, Arabs are family. We one family. We don't look at each other like that, though. That's what we was getting into your other question about who the neighbor is. The neighbor is the people of your kindred. White people know who their neighbors are. Chinese people know who their neighbors are. The East Indian know who his neighbor is. The white man know who his neighbor is. We don't look at each other like neighbors. We don't look at each other as a family. Read that, for, read that again. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So he just said to the Israelites, you only have I known among all the families of the, of the world, of the earth. He said, you only have I known. What is that saying? Y'all the only people I know. But we try to we try to shove God off onto everybody else. They got their own God. He said, y'all the only people I know. Read that again. That's heavy. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. And that's why we go through what we go through today. Because we the only people that he know. It's like this. You got kids. Anybody y'all got kids, right? Y'all got kids. Imagine if you go, you take your kids to the park. And you say, hey, y'all can go play on these slides and all that. But you see those people over there, those kids over there jumping up and down in the mud? Don't go mess with them. Do not go play with those kids. You turn around, you go get something out the car. When you come back, your kid's jumping up and down in the mud playing with those same kids you told them not to play with. Who you finna whoop? You finna whoop everybody's kids? That's a lawsuit, first of all. You gonna whoop your kids, right? That's how God works. The same logic that we got, we gonna whoop our own kids because I told you not to go play with them. You was disobedient to my word. I didn't give them that commandment. I didn't give them that law. I gave it to you and you disobeyed me. That's why we getting punished for our iniquities. That's up. why we at the bottom of society. Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ, bless. Officer Ben and I, IUIC Tupelo, Mississippi camp. Make sure you subscribe to IUIC Tupelo's YouTube page. Like, subscribe, share. Like, subscribe, share, and all the rest of our social media. A Shalom, Most High Christ, bless. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Ah!